Hello and welcome to today's session. In this session, we'll discuss on how we can apply candidate elimination algorithm to get the best hypothesis. In the last session, we have seen how we can find out the specific hypothesis. In this session, we will see that we are going to find both general hypothesis as, as well as specific hypothesis. So let's consider the table. This is a table that we are taking where we have four in, uh, examples right there are six attributes here sky temperature humidity wind water and forecast which is going to say that the person is going to enjoy the sport or not depending upon the value we are going to say that the person is going to enjoy the sport yes if he's not going to enjoy the sport no so basically yes is the positive instance and no is the negative instance See, first and foremost, you have to come up with the most general hypothesis and most specific hypothesis. Most general hypothesis, let's say it is G0, right? We have six attributes here. Make all the six attributes as like question mark because a uh, question mark means that it can take any value, right? Since it is a general hypothesis, I'm going to say that all the attributes can take any value. So basically, this means that every uh, instance is a positive example right so that's the meaning of this kind of a hypothesis the next one is find the most specific hypothesis denoted by s0 where i'm going to make all the values as null value that means i'm saying that the attributes cannot take any value so which means that actually every instance is a negative example now let's consider the first training example eg1 so let's first each and every step we are going to iterate okay we are going to go to each and every example and find out the specific hypothesis and generic hypothesis so seeing the first training example here what we observe here is let's first discuss about the specific hypothesis right so the specific hypothesis is overly specific right it fails to cover any of these values of this positive instance the first example is a positive instance because the value final label is yes this s not is not able to cover any of the uh, values of this example one so that means I have to now revise this S0. Let me revise this S0 to S1 such that it will cover the example 1. And if you observe G0, what is G0? All the values are question mark. So which means that it can take any value. So that means it can take any of these values of example 1. Right? So that means even sunny is fine, warm is fine, normal is fine, anything is fine. So it means that the generic hypothesis G0 is covering all the positive examples in example 1. So that means we need not change G0. So if therefore the new hypothesis is G1, we are, uh, general hypothesis we are going to retain. Initially G0 is the all question marks. I am going to keep G1 as it is question marks because it is covering all the positive examples in this example 1 but S0 is not covering any of this so in order to make it cover I have to copy the same values to S1 okay because S0 is all null values it was not covering any of the values of the first example so copy the same attribute values to S1 therefore S1 is sunny warm normal strong warm and same so that was about the first training example now let's consider the example 2 now in example 2 what are the values let's see in example 2 so that it's easy I have written the instances here itself so that we don't have to go back the instances are what uh, values are what sunny warm high strong warm same it's written here examples 2 states these are the values okay now let's come uh, discuss about specific hypothesis if you compare s1 what is this is the s1 value which we got from the previous example and this uh, these are the instances values from the example 2 compare these two okay compare the previous specific hypothesis s1 with the new instances of example 2 so when you compare you see that all the values are same except the third attribute now what you have to remember is example you have to notice example 2 is a positive instance okay so i can compare fine so when i compare both are positive instances example 1 and example 2 that's why i'm able to compare i'm comparing the hypothesis s1 which i got from the example 1 with that of the values of example 2 and i have to find if there is a change wherever there is a change you put a question mark 
if there is no change in the attribute values retain it as it is that's all okay so here we see that only the third attribute there is a difference so what is a new uh, specific value keep the rest of the things as it is only the third attribute you put a question mark now coming to the g1 the generic hypothesis the generic hypothesis you saw that g1 we had all question marks right we had all question marks now that will still cover all the values of the example 2 right you have all question marks in the previous hypothesis it is still covering all the values so retain it as it is don't change so g2 will remain as it is why because if i write question mark it can take any values uh, it is saying that if you give any values uh, it is uh, consistent with the positive instance now these values are still consistent the values of example 2 are still consistent right that's why g2 will remain the same keep the question marks as it is so this is the hypothesis I got from example 2 now consider example 3 for convenience I have written the values here itself example 3 I have these are the values I have what you have to note here is this is a negative instance okay now let's just discuss about the generic hypothesis my generic previous generic hypothesis G2 is all question marks now if we observe it is if I say all question marks so that means it is incorrectly predicting example 3 as positive if I retain the same thing then what it will say right it that means it's an incorrect prediction that all values are positive because certain values what does it mean because certain values are leading to are leading to negative instance I cannot say any value it is positive that's wrong right because rainy is what is this diagram show, showing us sunny is positive rainy is negative but if I follow this hypothesis it means sunny is positive as well as rainy is positive so that's a wrong inference okay so now we need to change the generic hypothesis the previous hypothesis G2 what I had if I can I cannot consider that anymore right because it is incorrectly saying that if I write any value it is a positive instance which is wrong because in example 3 we saw that some of the values are leading to negative instance so I just give a comparison here if you see example 2 which was a positive instance example 3 which was a negative instance I saw if it is sunny it is positive if it is ready it is negative if it is warm it is positive if it is cold it is negative but there are certain places where the value remains same for both positive and negative instance see the third one right the third attributes both are high for positive as well as negative instance now that's some kind of an inconsistency right uh, and you see the fourth one both are strong which is again it remains the same the fifth attribute also both values are warm so what does it mean so actually there are six attributes so looking at the six attributes you might think that I should come up with six different hypotheses to get a negative instance right either I will make sunny and all question marks question mark and all uh, warm and all question marks make only this as uh, high and all other questions so basically you will think that I'm going to have six hypotheses but you can see that there are some in, in uh, that will also be wrong because there are some incorrect uh, inconsistencies so what is the answer here is inconsistency there are three inconsistencies here right so how do you process it what do we make here is see this was G2 right from my previous example I got all question marks now just wherever there is an inconsistency I'm gonna put a question mark okay so what I'm going to do is I have inconsistency is if you re remember the number inconsistency in the third fourth and fifth value so what I'm going to do is only third fourth and fifth value I will always keep it as a question mark okay the third attribute this one the fourth attribute and fifth attribute I will always keep it as a question mark that means it can take any value but the rest of the things I'm gonna fix it okay so sunny all question marks will remain question mark warm that is the second attribute will also remain the sixth attribute will remain so that's the meaning the first attribute the second attribute the sixth attribute will remain unchanged right the first attribute second attribute 
last attribute will remain unchanged first second and the sixth one the rest of the three things in between third fourth and fifth i am going to keep a question mark because both the values are same so that means it can take any value right so that means it can take any value because it's same high it's a strong it is warm so it can take any value so third fourth and fifth i'm going to keep them same so this is a hypothesis you get generic hypothesis you get from the example three i hope that is clear i'll repeat sunny is the first attribute which i'm retaining warm is the second attribute which i'm retaining same is the last attribute which i'm retaining if you note only third fourth and fifth i am keeping it as question mark in all the hypothesis the reason is either you can have this or this or this okay now coming to the specific hypothesis we have discussed about processing of a uh, specific hypothesis in the previous session the link you please see in the description box in specific hypothesis we never dealt with negative hypothesis so that they were negative instances so just copy the previous hypothesis the previous hypothesis i got s2 just copy the same thing here that's all okay don't to, uh, don't have to worry s2 is same as s3 this is the previous hypothesis which i got now coming to the last example example 4 this is what is my example 4 which i got from the table i have written here for convenience it's a positive instance so work it out in the same way so see compare s3 with example 4 s3 is a previous hypothesis compare it with the new example what are the changes you observe wherever there is a change you put a question mark as simple as that see sunny is same warm is same only the third attribute any comparison with a question mark is a question mark see the fourth attribute is same fifth attribute is different so put a question mark sixth attribute is also different put a question mark that's it so specific hypothesis is done this is our new hypothesis s4 coming to generic hypothesis copy the g3 as it is here right now you have to come up with a new generic hypothesis for g4 now compare the values okay of g3 what was what is there in the example 4 right sunny warm high we had a problem uh, uh, what we had in our in our previous hypothesis is sunny warm and uh, same we have here right we were uh, the third fourth and fifth attributes are question mark so if you compare that with example 4 there is a change right there is a change in the last attribute right in g3 i had the last attribute is same but in g4 example 4 the last attribute is change the last sixth attribute has changed right so that means what for a positive instance right you can either take the last attribute as same you can also take it as a change both will indicate question mark that's the meaning okay i hope you understood in g3 observe the last attribute the last attribute is same in example 4 the last attribute is change see there is a difference between the sixth attribute of example 4 and sixth attribute of g3 there is a difference but both are positive instances so that means to become a positive instances it can either be change it can either be same that can be the value so that means you put a question mark it can take any value that means so that's why i am just going to remove this last uh hypothesis so basically what we are doing here is in g3 we are going to prune the hypothesis the last hypothesis is actually wrong right so therefore g3 is further pruned to g4 we are just removing of the last hypothesis okay so for the pruning is not required because in both the cases s4 when you compare with example 4 s3 when you compare with example 4 first to first value is sunny which is actually correct which are both same the second value is warm which is also same so there is no problem with that so that's why in from g3 retain the first two hypothesis prune off or remove the last hypothesis so this g4 is the final hypothesis so this is our final hypothesis okay so this is our final hypothesis which we got from example 4 now you have to give your last conclusion the final version of your hypothesis for enjoy sport is like this just write s4 write g4 which i got from the previous write this s4 write the g4 that's all okay write s4 write g4 and from that you make a you get the entire 
final version space for your enjoy sport concept learning problem just copy s4 and g4 from your previous example and what do you observe is from this right you have sunny and also compare this compare this first hypothesis with this so what's the difference sunny sunny both are same write it question mark warm so write question mark question mark question mark write question mark question mark strong you write here strong and then question mark question mark then you write compare these two right sunny compare these two hypotheses let's say sunny warm and then two four question marks and when you compare this from this you get this question mark warm question mark strong just compare this with this you get strong question mark and from this you are getting this hypothesis so basically this is our entire version space including the hypothesis bounded by s4 and g4 so this learned one thing you have to notice this learned version space is independent of the sequence in which the training example is presented that means even if you change the ordering of example 1 example 2 example 3 example 4 you should finally get this hypothesis only so this is our final version space which is consistent with the set of examples which was given in the table so thank you so much any doubts please let me know in the comment box and one thing i need to tell the students if you are writing in this in the exam the marks would be step wise okay so make sure that for every example you make step wise you will be having marks so this will probably let's say this is a eight marks question this will have one mark this step would have like again two marks it would be a equal distribution this would be like let's say one and a half marks again one and a half marks one and a half marks and your final conclusion would be one and a half marks so please highlight your answers accordingly suppose even if you go wrong in the last step you will still get marks for the first few uh, hypotheses which you have done correctly Okay, so any doubt, please write to me in the comment box. Thank you so much.